Good morning, Reptile World. This is Madam X with Steamworks Reptile Emporium, and this film log is going to be the first in a short series on maternal incubation. This lovely lady here, Madam Echidna, is a wild caught, gravid female that I purchased from Outback Reptiles. And because she has to be quarantined for my six month quarantine protocol, her eggs should be quarantined as well, and that is the reason that this is going to be my first female to do maternal incubation with. I would like to take a moment and thank um, everyone who has answered the questions that I've thrown out there on maternal incubation as I was doing research, um, specifically Eddie, Shay, and Kyle from Facebook. I'm not going to give your last names out, but I would like to thank you, and I'll be sure to link you to this video series. And I do appreciate you taking the time out of your schedules to answer questions that I had and give me feedback. Alright, so, and thank you Outback Reptiles for such a beautiful girl. As you can see, she's nice and curious. She's actually really even-tempered. Um, when I took her out of the shipping box, she was in her prelay shed, had it about a third of the way down her body. Um, I gave her a bath upon arrival, and that shed came off nice and easy, perfect. There was absolutely zero sign of pests external at, of any kind, uh, not on her, not in the bath water. So she was ready to set up in this quarantine tub. Um, the tub itself is a 50 quart Sterilite. She's got a nice big bowl of water to maintain humidity. And her bedding here is New Zealand sphagnum moss. Slightly damp. Uh, enough that there's a few beads of condensation on the side of the cage each day. Uh, and a few drops on the lid down at the water bowl end. Alright, uh, my ambient room temperatures are 79 to 82. Um, because this is my quarantine room and I have a couple of lizards quarantining, I can't go over 84 degrees ambient temp, so that will be the ambient temp the entire time. And I control that pretty rigorously to make sure that my geckos do not overheat. Alright, so her hot spot is done with a heat cable right there, that goes over one-third of the length of this tub. Um, and I have it set to range between 90 and 95. The reason for that is that, like I said, the ambient temps do dip down uh, as low as 79, sometimes 78 during the night. Um, and I want to make sure that she is able to warm herself up. Um, so far, she's actually keeping quite a layer of sphagnum moss, maybe a quarter of an inch thick there, between her and the bottom of the tub. She has not burrowed down and, and laid eggs flat on the tub. I may have to adjust these heat cable temperatures um, before allowing her to coil around eggs once she lays them. So I thought I would do an update. Um, we're probably another 20 days, 20 maybe 25, from her actually depositing the eggs. Um, so this is just a short clip to introduce you to the maternal incubation film logs that I'm going to be posting on my channel. Um, and I probably will not do another one. Um, until she actually lays the eggs. So be on the lookout for that one, and I hope you enjoy the journey. Thanks for tuning in, and take care. I'm going to go out and pretty Madam Echidna checking things out. Hello, Mama. All right. 
Thanks, folks. Have a good day.